Well, if you sold a condo or a townhome in Steamboat in the last couple of months, you're probably pretty happy. Hi, this is John James with the James Team at Remax Partners coming to you with another Steamboat Market Update. We're gonna get into condos and townhomes in this segment and starting with the main indicators. Median sold price. Ever seen a hockey stick? Ever seen a hockey stick chart? This thing's shooting up from here and then up. Um, that's where median sold price has been. It went from 408,250 last year to 439,450 this year. That's up 7.6%. But the real news is that has been a hockey stick climb since COVID started. Since March, that value has gone up and up and up very sharply. Um, number of sales, that one's down though. Um, you know, we only have for, you know, 456 compared to 498 last year. That's a drop of 8.4%. And that is indicative of inventory, lack of inventory. But with that median sold price still going up, the sales volume also went up as well. It was a little, uh, it was over 244 million last year. This year, 254 million, 303,266. An increase of 4%. Um, and so we get into inventory and see what's going on there. Uh, the days on market, that still keeps going up. I'm still trying to figure out why the days on market still keep going up when we're still losing inventory. It went from 37 to 42. That's a 13 and a half percent increase. The month supply, this is the really tight number, 3.3 months. Things are not, you know, if we were to sell everything, in the condos and townhomes market, it would only take three and a half months to do it. And that is down from 4.6 last year. That's 20.28.3% 20 difference. And here's, here's kind of the main number, active listings. Last year, 194, this year, 143. Not much on the market. It's down 26.3%. So if you've been thinking about selling something, you know, you're gonna get a good price. And especially with these interest rates, those buyers, they have a little bit more buying power. They're ready to, to buy something right away. So now moving into value. Sales to list price ratio. That one is even from last year at 97.7%. So sellers, you're getting very, very close to your list price. And price reductions, this kind of fits in with that. 56 last year, 23 this year. So that's getting close to twice as many, you know, uh, what, two th it's about two thirds less than what it was last year. So pardon me on that one. Uh, our future indicators, the back on market. This is one where maybe things didn't work out just right. Last year, there were only three. This year, 10. So that's a big change. Um, but pending listings, there were 595 in July of last year, 597 this year. So it's up 0.3%. Um, I know those title companies are going gangbusters right now, trying to close everything and make that happen. So that's a, that's a lot on them. We're trying to make it easy for them as well. Um, COVID stats. So how did things change since COVID started when we were pegging that at mid-March? It's the number of sales is down 12.8% from March to July of this year. But how's that compared to last year? Last year was up 0.4% from March to July. So a 12.4% differential. I say anything over, anything into double digits, that we can kind of look at as something COVID related. Uh, same thing with the, well, here's the thing with the sales volume though. And this is where that value comes into play. You know, the sales volume was down 7.8% from March to July of last year, but it was only down 2% March to July last, last year. So that was a 5.8% differential. So not much, you know, not as much change going on right there. So we've kind of co covered our type segments. We're gonna go into different areas next week with west, north, and south route. And uh, we'll get into those very quickly and give you guys a little bit of an idea of where things are happening in different parts of Route County. If you have any questions, please give me a call at 970-846-0797 or email me at johnjames at jamesteamsteamboat.com. Have a great day.